looking back at haters and their victims, some of which became haters themselves, who did what they did because I proved that a perpetual motion machine didn't work, or worse, would start a fire and burn your house down because one of them did. Or people lying to you about the origin and history of, uh, of anything, looking for any fact and just saying the exact opposite of it, and me proving that that's what was done. Me and hundreds of other YouTube channels that would debunk this bullshit. Getting harassed because people were able to game the system to get us shut up. We'll start with the least offensive individuals and, in my opinion, victims. Now, we called them, in general, the dirty half dozen because at any one time there'd be about a half dozen channels that would cooperate with each other by each of them, well, really it should have been seven, each of them getting a day to post something have the others not be competition with them and post a story, a contrarian story that would appeal to about the same demographic and, and mindset. And then each of them would promote the stuff online and then they would share this promotion and cross promotion ability and keeping it organized behind beyond uh, six individuals cooperating. It's pretty difficult on the internet. They'd maintain it and people would shift in and out late, late in the game. We get someone roped in. Grand Solar Minimum or GSM Channel, WTF Sky, Jake and Marie are the usual names used on the internet. They're still up and active now, but for a little while they were roped in. At first they were debunking the same BS we were all debunking. And then also playing devil's advocate, sometimes across the table from each other. Uh, arguing the subject back and forth, which is what you should do. And then we got requests, should I be associated with this other channel over here? And the name came up. First name is Pete. And we figured out, nope, don't do that, please. There's an entire history. And then they got roped in. We didn't understand why. Then we found out that this Pete had set up attack sites saying, do what I tell you or I'll get your kid taken from you. That's how hardballed people are when they want to prove that the earth ended in 2012 or some other bullshit. If they can get click views and get paid the money they need to pay for their house or maybe a medical issue... They are willing to do whatever it takes to get you to shut up and not debunk it. Instead of just ignoring the debunkings, treating it like free advertising, and still making a living on their PayPal accounts, getting donations for them to lie to more people. GSM, WTF Sky, Jake and Marie eventually figured out, obviously, number one, they shouldn't have had contact with this individual. Number two, they were attacked. Number three, they're still on the internet now. They, they still post videos. And you can't tell whether they're going for or against the subject in many cases because they're arguing it. They're bringing up the subject matter. I don't agree with some of their conclusions. That's not a problem. I do like the fact that at least one of them has learned uh, part of quantum physics and a good deal of uh, electromagnetic phenomena in physics and should maybe do some elementary teaching courses so I could learn something. Still don't agree with their conclusions, but... Can't argue with them, at least trying to learn. These are standard real-world skeptics that easily get pulled into these kind of circle jerks. Next one, Dark Sky Watcher 74, Paul Flores. Had many channels, lost many channels. By Christmas 2021, he got listed as a bad guy on the Southern Poverty Law Center by name and by channel. This resulted in a lot of trouble for him. And also his Christmas present that year apparently was getting in some sort of accident involving a car, I do believe, and being very badly injured. I am very sorry that happened to him. Since then, he is now happily on Instagram and not really dealing with the YouTube BS, the cesspit that he partially contributed to and partially drowned in. During all of the time he was on, he appeared to show one characteristic above all. He was dedicated to his family and, and, and that's it. Didn't care about the rest of the world. And whether he was roped in or coerced in or not, he doesn't seem to be part of it anymore. And he may have opinions I don't agree with. Lots of people do. But he doesn't seem to be a virulent, nasty, evil monster anymore, if he ever really was. I'm pretty sure he's just earning a normal living and living his best life. And I'm happy that he's happy. And uh, yeah, maybe he may be the only person I know that's better off using Instagram than YouTube. Instagram's normally kind of toxic, I thought. So I'm happy that he's, I mean, obviously he's tough enough, enough to handle any BS and deal with it well. And I will warn you, just like Jake, Marie, Grand Solar Minimum, WTF Sky can at will create a following 
for good reason, I hope. Dark Skywatcher can, knows exactly how to be a viral source, and he will eventually come back. And I may end up debunking some of his videos. And I hope he doesn't get roped into a group that causes more trouble than it's worth. And he's genuinely entertaining to debunk. Next one, Sangstar1, a.k.a. Sergio Correa. Many channels on many subjects. Originally started on YouTube doing help videos and normal stuff. Then he got roped into a conspiracy theory mindset about UFOs and such. Ran a YouTube channel called Cosmophobia, which misinterpreted the term Cosmophobia at purpose to harass somebody who worked at NASA, obsessed over the subject. By 2019 Christmas time, he was in Fiji. He was doing uh, vacation videos instead of being part of a circle jerk that would harass and harm people or post, in his case, post defamatory data that got him into trouble in his own country. Left YouTube in 2020, or at least abandoned it partially, ran off to Facebook where he posts his opinions and I hope he goes back to putting up uh, vacation videos because 2019, right at the beginning of the pandemic, those were really good. And honestly, I hope he posts more. But for a time, he was one of the biggest sources of people posting false accusations of criminal intent on my part. He was one of those. Yeah, the self-help guy, the guy who wanted you to learn originally about, you know, the dark side of being a vampire in, in Australia, uh, and the fun side of it, being a goth, back when he was a goth. Now he's just, well, he's an old goth. Uh, and also, you know, getting really touchy when people pointed out he made a mistake about basic physics. Okay. But him going from, you know, being somebody you'd see on vacation, doing really cool vacation videos that were well done, to just before that, attempting to destroy my reputation and a couple of other people's reputation for simply pointing out he got something wrong by doing something that would literally get him thrown in prison at one point. Don't believe that you are immune from being roped in. Don't ever believe that. That's how you get roped in. Always assume you can be tricked. It's actually a rule if you're playing poker. Always assume you can be, you know, faked out because you will get faked out if you don't. Be on guard. Now we get to the Next layer of person that decided to try to damage my reputation. Doing the same content, just a different way. Hope Girl, a.k.a. the Quantum Energy Generator Girl, or the EMF Protection Girl, the Clean Energy Academy Girl, posted on YouTube till around Halloween 2021, openly stating that she was leaving because of various reasons, but really it was because she couldn't monetize anymore, and people like me were pointing out that she was... Well, let's list it. Um, she has several websites, including trying to bilk people for donation money to try to solve the energy crisis in Africa with a perpetual motion machine. It's not really a perpetual motion machine, but to explain what it really is would take a separate video, which I will do. I did a video about this design, pointing out that it would start a house on fire and that it had that it was a poor electrical engineering design, and if she claimed to have copyright to it and a patent for it, which she doesn't have a patent apparently at all, if she claimed that this was something she or her mate engineered, that it was absolutely workable, but never has worked, and then charges people 500 bucks an hour to show them how to fix it, which still didn't work because there's no guarantee, and demanded absolute secrecy, her getting mad at me for pointing out that it was a fire hazard and had burned a house down, was unacceptable and that's haters and he's stalking us and he's he's threatening my children and every other heartstring pulling thing other than why didn't you put a fuse here why did you make it to where that it had a a resonance effect that may be productive for energy it isn't but that was the claim but it would also cause an excessive amount of current to go through a set of cables you didn't build up enough use welding cable use a break use a breaker use a fuse in sequence Run it at a different cycle per second in the first place so that it doesn't do this. Completely constructive criticism resulted in her repeating the lies that uh, Sangstar had done. He got it from another source. I'll bring that guy up next. But she repeated the same lies and then added new ones, making new claims that were never valid, including he personally attacked our house. 
when, when she literally lives in, in a place that's be, uh, an ocean away from me at the time. I didn't bring up her legal situation, why she's not continental United States bound. She's not living her best life. She's uh, stuck herself on her own websites that all say zero comments because she will not tolerate criticism. And again, the circuit diagrams still have basic set of errors in it that if you try to build those things, you have a one in 10 chance, actually one in 10 minutes, you know, one minute out of 10 minutes where it's going to catch on fire and burst into flames and probably throw pieces of armature and generator at you. I gave constructive advice and was punished for it. Because she succeeded in getting somebody to represent her to YouTube. Some are more equal than others, apparently. And getting my channel taken down. And the YouTube having to acknowledge, we shouldn't have taken it down. You're criticizing her for being dangerous. And they did it three times. Mostly without me intervening at all and realizing that one of the departments needed to stop doing that. The channel was ultimately taken down because an older video had something in it somebody could flag falsely and they didn't give a damn anymore. It doesn't matter that it isn't valid. We don't care. You know, standard YouTube policy. But yeah, Hope Girl took her dolls and dishes in 2021 Halloween time and ran off. But she had unofficially become the seventh member of the Dirty Half Dozen for a while. But by then, in case you can't tell from the diamond date stamps, most of them are gone. By Christmas 2021, most of them were completely dead because YouTube started clearing house on anything that was not productive financially for them or for the people who owned it, their channels, and or anything that promoted things that had been debunked years ago. They basically just deranked them until they went away. You can have a channel. You just can't talk about certain subjects. I'm also a channel like that now. Hope Girl's last videos where she was trying to fundraise got 300 views. During the time that they weren't being deranked, which is kind of funny. She even top ranked on certain subjects. It didn't get many views, but she was the only one talking about them. And she still has hit piece pages, just like Sangstar does. Skywatcher has some videos up that other people have mirrored that contain him talking smack about me too, but he only did that a couple of times compared to the rest of these people who went on for literally years. We're talking not quite a decade, but five, ten, five to six years, chronically. And now we'll get to the ringleader or wannabe ringleader who would post UFOs are going to take your underwear style videos, you know, under, underpants gnome reference there. Uh, but the world's coming to an end. We're about to be hit by a comet. You know, your standard issue, fear mongering YouTube videos, well presented. Pete, Web Design Hosting Co. Pete, W D H C O, Peter Kusk. Ashford and Kent, and also somewhere in Spain, where he tells you it's Malarca, or malarkey. Due to hate speech, was off YouTube since 2018 on many, if, all, if not all of his channels, and also his videos pointing to pages he built that lied about people and made statements that would be, quote, actionable to the court system or to police departments that were never taken action on were also taken down. Off the net, mostly since August 2021. A slow grind to a bloody nose in the gravel. This individual had expended a great deal of effort trying to destroy my reputation and coincidentally about a dozen other people. Still has his pages up where he says all sorts of horrible things about people, mostly under their real name, sometimes actually bothering to list their YouTube channel name, all because they proved that the world didn't come to an end in 2012. That that the planet's round, uh, that NASA and, and whatever entity you want to talk about aren't really hiding facts from you. They're presenting them to you and telling you, go ahead and debunk them. We're okay with it. This walking pile of shit <laughs> who got visited by the cops a couple of dozen times and eventually stopped arguing about it still has his hate pages up because he has nothing to lose and never got his 500 bucks a pop to get us to take it, you know, from us to get it taken down. Because he kept demanding money to take down the stuff, which was the reason he was visited. All of this started because people couldn't tolerate being told, you're simply wrong about your measurement because you misread a number off the screen. Or you're wrong about something because you didn't read the next page in the physics book. Or in one girl's case, you burnt someone's house down and you should be jailed for it. These people attacked, not by discussing the subject matter we discuss, 
but by making up stories and lying about us and trying to get neighbors to kill us. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Show's over for them and me.